Peace and blessings. This is Raisa Kiwala, the divorced Muslim coach. Today's verse is coming from chapter 59, verse 19. Be not like those who forgot Allah. He made them forget themselves. And, um, you know, I never really understood what this really meant um, until, you know, a few years ago. Just And my understanding of it has become deeper and deeper and deeper. And we don't want to be aimlessly wandering around without a purpose, right? Just, you know, um, following the masses and just, you know, doing whatever everyone else is doing, keeping up with the Joneses, uh, and stemming from not knowing who we are, where are we going, and why are we doing what it is that we're doing, right? Um, being, you know, it's, it's, it's come to a point where we just disconnected from ourselves um, and we are disconnected from our fitra which is the natural state of peace that we were all born into and I love um, the, the verse in the Quran verily in the remembrance um, of Allah do hearts find rest and that's the natural state of peace that we come pure into this world into right so it's it's uh, an opportunity to really see are we are we lost and do we not even know it um, that is the really the, the most sad state of affairs and I can say that too because I have been in those that situation and that state of being where I didn't even recognize that I was lost um, and something was not I was not at peace something was uneasy within me and that's how you can tell like you know when you're not in that natural state of peace that you're born into um, something's wrong something's off so it's an indicator to check back into yourself check back um, into yourself through your connection and your relationship with Allah so you know uh, that is what it's like when we're in that state of uneasiness uh, and we're just feeling lost not centered not grounded not knowing like what we're doing and why what our purpose is it's a delusion it's a hallucination and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us from that being in that state so what is it that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us in order to not lose yourself? Be mindful of your connection and your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, and, and checking with yourself, do I really know myself? Um, do I really know who I am? Uh, and this is different than you know how people perceive you or the labels that have been put onto you or the boxes that you have been boxed into. Uh, by yourself, um, whether you've been conditioned to just, you know, um, label yourself as a certain type of personality or a certain type of person, um, and, you know, understanding what is your identity, where does it come from, as a soul, as a, as a servant of Allah, as a creation of Allah, um, not, through your, not through the labels that have just come to be affixed onto you right so even living a life of expectations that others have for you in your roles that becomes all about how people are perceiving you and you working towards people having a perception of you and that's where we can get really really lost so it comes down to really knowing yourself through your relationship with Allah and there's so many people women women and men but mostly women that I support and work with that have um, really lost themselves, especially when they're going through a divorce, their marriage is broken down, they have lost themselves in the roles that they were working so hard to perform um, in, um, whether it's wife, daughter, sister, mother, um, you know, friend, and they've lost themselves in, in fulfilling the roles and the obligations um, in those roles. Um, and it looks like it's all somebody else's fault. That is why we need to know ourselves and we can't know ourselves um, without knowing Allah or allow, uh, without knowing ourselves through Allah because it's like an infinity loop, right? Our relationship with ourselves and our relationship with Allah. Those are our foundational relationships that we need to be securely and strongly attached to so we are unbreakable. And that is also why I created uh, this uh, for my, the first module in my program, Unbreakable. And if you have found this message 
helpful um, and you know spoke to you or you connected to it in any way please like and share and subscribe to my youtube channel Raisa Giwala to get the remainder of the videos that are coming out this Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.